Just talking? Well, what's the show about? About nothing. Speaking of bad decisions. Oh, yeah. Uh, peop- KFC smugglers? Yeah, so I, got, I found this, this. This guy at work sent me this interesting story. Um, so New Zealand, since they're like on stage four lockdown. And I think it might have lifted a little bit. This was maybe about a week ago this happened. And I think they just lifted to stage level three lockdown, which is a little hardcore for a while. Yeah, they were hardcore. So it was like level four. Everything was shut down. Wow. Well, these guys made a business out of smuggling uh, fast food (laughs) because everything was locked down. Yeah. Oh, okay. Even food, like takeout food, everything was locked down. Okay. So these guys would drive 75 miles into um, Hamilton and then go to Auckland. Is that what it's called? Oh, okay, Auckland. Yeah, yeah. Auckland. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, seventy-five miles with KFC. Wow. Yeah. Wait. So is that not part of New Zealand? The the part that, that was my question. You? It is part, but there's different stages of like this this city, oh, Auckland. Was okay. Level oh, level. Yeah. they're on a low level. Yeah, yeah. There's yeah. not much. And Hamilton was in on like it was uh, I think it was level two lockdown. Okay. So they still had like takeout services and everything up. <laughs> Got it. So, no, I just keep wanting to say Hamilton. <laughs> Hamilton. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> Because uh, Dax, Dax Shepard, that's what he calls Hamilton, like Hamilton the play, he calls it Hamilton. Oh, oh, oh that's what he calls Hamilton. You know, Hamilton. <laughs> Great, that's good. He sings about it. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like so, it's like if you were driving from like California to Texas to get your kind of right or no, get, it would be like to, or, seventy-five miles. What is that? Like? Oh, seventy-five miles. Oh, yeah. so maybe oh. like from what's from inland like over here LA to san diego yeah yeah That's something some, like that yeah oh, yeah okay. kfc would be so cold by then but <laughs> for real dude bro, bro, people are paying good money have you ever had those mashed potatoes cold Ooh, oh no. dude Horrible. i just had them uh like the other day just because like they fucked up my order and they're like here goes the mashed potatoes you know i was like oh, whatever but i looked you at them they were like because you messed them up. they were like clear and i was like <laughs> yeah this is weird i don't want yeah. this here you go it's like a soup <laughs> that um the gravy never looks as appetizing as it, no no uh, it always looks it gross is, dude. yeah it does look fucking just nasty. give me chicken it's yeah. great in the commercial yep. but never. always dude i love commercial Other food that, that's the food i want to eat i know a packet you know that's what they do put some water in it and you're done yeah powder gravy so so two men aged 23 and 30 traveled from hamilton to auckland okay carrying this, <laughs> the breakdown of it is just hilarious they're carrying um Three buckets of 16 piece chicken. <laughs> uh, what else was it? Uh, four, 10 cups of coleslaw. I don't know how oh, much Jesus. fucking coleslaw you wow. need, bro. They really like their coleslaw. The large, yeah. the, you know, the, the big, like, party size, like, yep. versions of. <laughs> like the deep the, cup. The bucket yes. of, they should just been like the bucket of chicken and yeah. just fill that with coleslaw. coleslaw oh, yeah. shit. That would yep. be dope. Imagine, like, a party bucket like that. Dude, that would be sick. Dude, a large KFC? bag of fries. So, like, that full bag of fries. Okay. I hate uh, those fucking wedges. Yes, oh, they're yeah. so gross. They're nasty. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. all potatoes. Those Imagine cold. those cold, cold too. Ooh, that's gross. Horrible. Yeah, the worst. You even the best that. French fries cold aren't really good. Yeah, what I would just yes. been, I would have omitted that from the menu. Yeah, yep. from no, my no, smuggling menu. And then uh, four large bags containing like the the silverware and the honey <laughs> biscuits. <laughs> oh, the biscuits but, are worth it, dude. But this is how good the business was, right? Okay. They see also seized seventy thousand dollars worth of Whoa. money. Whoa. Like they had money on them, Whoa. like and they got seventy thousand dollars. I mean, a hundred bucks a drumstick. <laughs> dude, it fucking really calculates Imagine real that. quick. Like these guys were just like, all right, whatever, we'll make a business out of it, you know? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, they, we should have been doing this shit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Lockdown. Fuck. So we just had to like drive out out of state and come back in real quick, you know? That's it. Yeah. Snuggle everything. And the punishment wasn't like. I mean, it's bad, of course, but it's not like that bad. So, the punishment is four thousand uh, oh, dollars, a fine, 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 and six months in jail if it gets to that point. Oh, uh, for KFC? Yeah. That they're gonna be like in forty hours of customer service. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Like, and then you're mean, like, wait, community service? No, customer service. <laughs> customer service. You, you gotta go. Work at yeah. KFC. <laughs> <laughs> no. <sighs> and the thing is, like, this has been happening. Okay. Other people have been doing this. Like some guy, some twenty year old got caught. Um, he's an idiot, and criminals nowadays are like young criminals are idiots. He posted everything, oh, so he posted right. him. He posted himself on TikTok, uh, uh, driving the same same place, 
Uh, All to, for the clout. To go get McDonald's. To go get McDonald's and then smuggle it back in. Wow. Dude, wasn't, uh, weren't some like, uh, that's the problem. Would be robbers, weren't they caught that way? They were like live streaming themselves breaking into somebody's house. I thought I read a, an I article. Feel that, like, I feel like I've heard this too. Yeah. Yeah. They were like on like Facebook Live or something while they were breaking Why? into somebody's house. It's like if you're going to do a crime, just keep it to yourself. Dude, they just don't get it. They man. don't get it. They, they, we're, they chase the clout, like yeah, you're saying. Yeah. We're in an age where they just, they need that so much and they crave just to post to. Yeah, and also mm-hmm. just I don't know, yeah, the fucking cloud. I, it's so stupid. It's weird, dude. And yeah. Do you think it's that punishment's a little hefty for just smuggling Maybe this, chicken? It, I think I. I think. <laughs> <laughs> well, when you put it that way, <laughs> yeah, of, course, of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, but like, I think New Zealand now, right now, has the strictest and harshest punishments right now. Oh, okay. and that's what they're trying to do. Mm. You know, like kind of. Yeah, because they were like at a crazy like like a zero. Uh, covid cases for a while right because yep. they were so strict like they were able to yeah. like zero it out yeah. or something yeah. like yeah. that and they were one of the last countries that was trying to follow through with a zero um not zero freaking tolerance but um they were trying to keep it contained completely so they didn't want no one flying in no one flying uh, out okay. yeah oh, I remember you saying and then that. other um other scientists were saying you know what that's not gonna last long you're gonna have yeah. to eventually allow people to fly in and out and you're not going to avoid it. You're going to have cases because there were some countries that were trying to keep it on lockdown until they just, you know, died away. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, the cases just, yeah. you know, withered. But it's impossible, man. With how integrated our world is, it's like you can't just be isolated like that. Yeah, forever. you can't. No yeah. way. At all. Yeah. And then you had a lot of people that were trying to get in that were New Zealanders and they couldn't because of that reason. You know, they had a lockdown. Can't go home. <laughs> yeah. That's got to fucking feel so shitty. waiting for me. <laughs> <laughs> for two weeks. Oh man! So yeah, yeah, that's crazy, dude. That's my interesting story of the day. Uh, like, I, that's crazy. I applaud them though for yeah. uh, using the opportunity. Hey, they weren't smuggling drugs, just chicken. Yeah, that's I it, mean, bro. hey, I can't believe there's that much money in chicken, <laughs> bro. <laughs> yeah, I but no, and not even like farming, but just smuggling it. Like, yeah, wait, it's like the ultimate Uber. Yeah, you know, crazy. Uber oh, eats. They're basically they got fined and possibly jailed just for doing Uber eats. Yep. Wow. 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 Just party packs of chicken. There you go. Bucket of chicken. Well, they should us, be applauded. Let us know what you think about the case. Do you think they should be have a, such a hefty punishment? Yeah. And uh, would you uh, join the business if it was a possibility? What would you do for a bucket of chicken? What would you do for a bucket of chicken? That's What's a your good favorite question. bucket of chicken? Popeyes? KFC? Ah. Nah, a box of fucking Albertsons or Cedar Brothers chicken, bro. You can't go say, wrong. You can't go wrong with that Man. shit. Man. That's so good, dude. You really can't, dude. Oh, my God. Oh, that fried chicken. <laughs> Yo. Uh. Uh. Tasty. We're gonna, we're gonna, I need to eat. We're getting hungry. Okay. <laughs> we're going to call it. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to cut it short today. Check out full episodes of the Strange Noise podcast on Spotify. Episodes also available on your favorite podcast platform.